Hey guys, Tim here and welcome to another episode of Red Wolf TV. It's not very often we get to see a Marui product on our channel as they come out every millennia or so. So don't expect to see the M4 GBB anytime soon. Today is all about the Tokyo Marui 417 EBB. Tokyo Marui are all about innovation, always trying to set the bar like they did with the Recall Shock series except they've moved on to the 417. And considering the real seal 417 uses 7.62 rounds, you expect there to be more recoil, meaning you expect Tokyo Marui to have a improvement on their recoil shock series, of which they have. But more on that later. But let's talk about its build. This thing is pretty heavy, <laughs> at nearly a kilo heavier than the VFC 417, but that's mainly because of the gearbox and the recoil shock system. It feels sturdy and solid, due to the full metal body, though it does have a plastic telescopic six point stock, plastic grip, and a plastic magazine with 20 dummy rounds, which looks amazing. The Marui 417 comes with this dummy round 70 round mid cap magazine, but if you want something of higher capacity, you can get their 600 round high cap mag. That is if you don't mind holding a set of maracas or winding it every so often. Speaking of which, I do like this indentation at the base of a magazine, where if you put it on a flat surface, it does not interfere or damage it. So the 417 features quad rails for all your accessory needs. At the front, a 40mm CCW thread for your suppressors and amplifiers. At the front of the top rail is a blade sight, at the rear, a radial sight. It is ambidextrous, so it's lefty friendly. And I do like how it's very stiff, but what I don't like is how plasticky it sounds if you can hear that. You can pull back the charging handle to make your hop-up adjustments at the breech. The butt pad has sling points at the back and is also the housing for the Tokyo Marui Swap Mod 8.4 volt battery. What you need to do is press the button at the top, raise it slightly, and then remove the butt pad. Insert said battery, make sure it's clipped in, and then apply the butt pad, if it allows me to. There you go. Now I think it's time to chrono it and take it to a range and play with it. Professionally, of course. For the chrono test, we're using 0.2 gram 6mm BBs. We are now at Milsim CQB and Training Center at the 20 meter range using 0.3 gram BBs with the Tokyo Marui scope on top. And we have Jackie on the other end holding the GoPro just so you can see the results later. Jackie, you're right? Yep. Okay. <laughs> Oh, I really hope I don't hit your hand. All right. Let's have a look. So grouping wise, we have about one and a half inches vertical and two and a half inches horizontal in one that flew off into oblivion. But I want to make sure that I can still hit the target in full auto with the recoil. And while standing. Let's get my breathing in order. God, this is heavy. Jackie, you ready? That was fun. Let's have a look at that. I am seriously impressed by this. Sure, there may be one, two, three, four flyers, but you could repeatedly hit somebody's hand from 20 meters away, standing full auto with recoil. That just sounds painful. What I also find pretty cool is this. It stops firing when you're out of BBs, but it does have a functional bolt stop, so just Press that, and you can keep on going. Hold it down and... That's just cool. Now for the reason as to why we are all here. The recoil. How does it compare to, say, the Bolt B4 or the PTS RM4? Well, let me try it out a second. Sure. There may not be as much recoil as the Bolt before or the RM4, 
but there is still more than the previous recoil shock. Sure, you may not be able to see the difference, but I can certainly feel it kicking my shoulder. And what this has that the others don't is the ability to make your ears ring as that clack clack sound surely resonates and makes quite a racket. I just want to test something out. Hold the bolt slot down. So that's really interesting. You know when you're in an airsoft game and there is a definitive sound that the AEG makes when you're firing blanks in comparison to when you're actually firing BBs? This 417 sounds exactly the same when it's firing blanks and when it's firing BBs. This means you can suppress your enemies firing blanks and they will be able to tell the difference. I think that's about it, folks. I'll see you back at the studio. So what we have here is a very well-built EBB. They've increased the recoil to make up for the heavy weight, but it's still not as much as the other airsoft EBBs I've already mentioned, but it's still noticeable. It is such a long gun that taking it through a CQB course could prove rather troublesome, so it's better suited to outdoor games, but I would suggest increasing the power as it clocking it at just over 300 FPS is way below standard. One thing is for certain, it is an accurate EBB, but that is something we've come to expect from Tokyo Marui. So for this cool product and many more, go to our website at www.redwolfairsoft.com, porn stash out. I'd like to thank Milsim CQB and Training Center for allowing us to use their amazing range. If you would like to know more about them, click on the link in the description below. I'd like to thank Milsim CQB and Training Center for allowing us to use their amazing range. If you'd like to know more about them, click on the link in the description below. Whew! Do subscribe to our channel so you can keep up to date with our latest and coolest videos.